I come in the divine name of Cause the law, many called and I came Explosive, I blow the devil out the frame The God used to build the greed to make it rain The foundation, the energy to spark off creation Zigzag, zig, I can dig a new nation From the soil of the mother of civilization Traveling at a high speed of rotation On the way around the light source of the whole you and I First when we build, make originals unify Don't fear the devil now that I'm a grown man The God used mathematics now to own land Move the water and draw it up in a fine mist Rain down wise words on the mic like this Hit a cold current Just ice won't miss Leave them froze Understanding the pros of law spit Show and prove God You said your name is a law True and living son of man Yo and law is the God Show and prove God He said his name is a law True and living son of man Yo and law is the God Now if it wasn't for the gods This rap shit probably never would be going on Now tell me where you from Now rule baby I'm from the fool baby True school baby Do what it do baby I come in the divine name of Lord Jamar Allah I represent the sun, moon, and stars The customary greeting when they meet the God And your arms too short, you can't defeat the God So we the five percenters, y'all the job pretenders For a show we arrive wherever they send us The best part of the earth's all I care about The worst part, give a fuck about your whereabouts <laughs> That be the sound when I air them out And if the ground shake, it's cause I make earthquakes Rain, hail, snow, son of man, take credit Polarity shift, understand magnetics See, this is living mathematics Fucking with the gods, we're giving you a breathing apparatus <laughs> And I don't mean to be dramatic Electrical static is we can have it through the AVS Show and prove God, you said your name is a law True and living son of man, yo, a law is the God Show and prove God, he said his name is a law True and living son of man, yo, a law is the God Now if it wasn't for the gods, this rap shit probably never would be going on Now tell me where you from Now rule baby, I'm from the rule baby True school baby, the what it do baby Yeah, Sadat X, the self savior Only Sean Rice's behavior Okay, the tricks, interpretation, cause problems in the nation But I taught Joe and Boo, now my nation's on the move And my knowledge don't build, it will be destroyed Every point on my flag is a lesson If you don't live out the grease, you just mess it If it can't be reformed, then you will be stormed God knew would understand and create my own universe You have to be hurt, scared to say you God Worried about being seen as odd the half men laugh when they spread the trick knowledge The preacher went to college and learned it 10% He don't deal with equality, with him I can't build I will cut off his head with his poisonous shit My coach is my life, that's what I'm here for Allah manifests that in 1964 Meet me at the power hour cause Sim Jamar and me We gon' build on the day and have some good guns So my phone rings, unknown number, the caller says Hey, got me a new phone, it has pictures, text messages, internet and everything I said, good for you, who is this? She said, it's your mother. I said, I wish, but my mother passed away. Needless to say, she hung up. Mm. That was pretty ill, you know? Mm -hmm. So I said, wow, remember this. And at first I was gonna say, would that it could have been her, but I, I decided not to say that. And I said, remember this, energy cannot be created nor destroyed, and since the universal laws are rooted in mathematics, right. there are no coincidences. That's coincidences. Right. This call was for you. I love you, little sis, peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, and left it there, because you know, you can look at it more than one way, you know, you can sure. look at it emotionally and, you know, I wish that was my mother, da 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 da, -da until oh, you yeah. understand that you are her live cells, you are your father's live cells. That's right. You know, and that energy is only recycled in the universe. Right. And of course, who else can channel it but the child of that energy, therefore right. that was your mother. Right. You know, it is, reality is how you perceive it, the mind dictates matter. That was your mother if you wanted to have been. I've seen her, I've, you know, communicated with her, mm -hmm. and all of that took place in the mind. Mm -hmm. But this world would not exist were it not for what? The mind. Right. So therefore, everything is real. And it, there's a key piece that you're saying there as well, in terms of um, the mind. Because our relationships, <laughs> our relationships are predicated on how we perceive those relationships. You know, Indeed. we both have seeds, so, you know, our understanding that we have seeds is only a, a, a thought connection. You know, the reality is these are individuals who came to the planet with their own mission, their own cause, their own purpose, hmm. you know, and we're saying, we're contracting a relationship. Will you be my daughter? Hmm. Okay. Will, will you be my father? <laughs> okay. 
And what's interesting about that, a lot of times through disrespect, that relationship can be destroyed. Indeed. Because through disrespect, we fail to see divinity. We fail to see God. Hmm. You know, spec means to see, re means God. So if there's no respect, the contract. <laughs> you don't see yourself. <laughs> avoid it. But right. That's right, because we bear witness that, you know, the, the, the father, the knowledge and the understanding is one and the same when manifest through the wisdom, which is the woman, right? Right. So we're saying sun, moon, and stars, man, woman, child, gas, li you know, gas liquid, solid. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know what I mean? And the only way that there's equality and balance is if, you know, it's one manifest through the other to bring forth the next, you know, and that's universal law. Everything goes from a gas to a liquid and a solid. Within your body, all three of those phases exist simultaneously, you know, in order to complete you, meaning that all three of us must exist, man, woman, and child, together in order to complete, you know what I mean? Therefore, my child running around right now, yeah, that's me. That's an extension of me. That's the best part of me. We teach understanding is the best part. That's the best part of me. Yes, he has his own mission. He sees things, see, you know, sees to understand. He sees things his way. He is my understanding. And he's the culmination of all the greatest things that I ever brought into this circumference, you know, manifest through him. That's the, you know, out of all the millions of seeds, you know, striving to fertilize that egg, he's the one that made it in there and turned the lights on. That's right. He got caught. You know what I mean? Stretched his legs. You know what I mean? You know, that came from his conscious thought. He was, you know, he won. And the funny thing is right now he's at the Junior Olympics. You know what I mean? Well, next week he's going to the Junior Olympics. He's already qualified. He's, you know, the illest distance runner, you know, Jersey has seen in a while. You know what I mean? Like I watched him last week in the 1500 lap somebody. Mm. I'm like, wow, you know, he's incredible. So you know he's I mean? showing. So let's, let's, let's dig into that for a mm -hmm. second. And then we're going to look yeah, back around. I like the way you started it, yes. He's showing and proven, yes. Yeah. Now, what is he showing and proven? Right. This is my See, question to you. Go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he's showing and proven, but let's go back to him as a cell body. Mm -hmm. And prior to a cell body, let's deal with him as a thought form. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in my, in my teaching and in my understanding, uh, men, we qualify ourselves as son. Mm -hmm. We are qualified as son. Sun representing multiple things. Obviously, the most high uh, light, the sustainer of life in many senses. But if we can imagine for a moment that when we inject our life, our sperm, our semen into a woman, into uh -huh. her void, into her womb, uh -huh. we are in fact injecting liquid light. Indeed. Meaning we injected liquid knowledge, liquid, liquid thought, energy. Yes. Liquid energy. So if your son is a top level uh, mover, it goes beyond running, obviously. He's a top level mover. Um, what was the thought that created yeah, that cell? On, yeah, it's going. Yeah. It's just the magnetic rebuild. Yeah. Um, well, that's the nectar. That's the nectar of the gods. Indeed. So, you know, it's all symbols. <laughs> so, um, no, that was reality. There was no symbols here. Mm. The bee was attracted to our magnetic. Mm. It came and rotated around us. Couldn't even get out the gravitation until we told it to leave. Without violence, though, just at peace. Go ahead, right. we're doing something. And he left. That's universal law. <laughs> so let's get to that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's reality, and we're going we're gonna to piece the two together. Mm -hmm. Your son was a thought form, initially, held within you. Mm -hmm. or, or the spirit of your son, the spirit of the winner. The was a thought form, mm -hmm. energy, okay. Um, as well as the personality and all the above, the entire package. Right, mm -hmm. was held in that, that mm -hmm. thought form. That's right. And then it manifested itself into a cell, mm -hmm. okay. Cell then manifests itself, joins with, with, the, uh, with the egg, mm -hmm. brings forth an understanding. Mm -hmm. So in this instance, we have knowledge, wisdom, bring forth understanding, mm -hmm. fire with water, you know, bringing forth the gas, <laughs> which we know to be uh, yes. also. The gas that cool. No, no, no. The fire and the water, right, mm -hmm. cools down and manifests the solid. Right. It materializes. Right. Right. That goes the boy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. Or yes. The, or the Christ. Indeed. 
Okay. Because Christ, the Jesus, was gases. There's no Indeed. J's in the Hebrew language. So, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. There are no J's in the Hebrew language. Yeah, that wasn't his name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matter of fact, who y'all talking about? Because that guy you talking about is not the guy you're supposed to be talking about. Right. We'll get into that. Later. I say eight and then I get two. I like That's that. Nine, right? I, I what, like me? that story. Okay. What did I do? Yeah, it was this beautiful mythology. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, um, now let's get into what we were speaking about with the beat. When I said, oh, it's all symbol, and you said, no, it's reality, right? So in the same instance, we couldn't call your son, your son a symbol. Not at all. Because he's a reality. Mm -hmm. But we can talk about what he may be symbolic too. Right. Mm -hmm. In the same instance, when the bee came, and I said the gods are building, bees represent the nectar of the gods. Also, in Kemet, bees represented royalty because the bee was always placed on the crown. Peace. So okay. where we're coming from is, is from that crown chakra. That's okay. where we're building from at this time. Mm. <laughs> okay, boom. All right. All right. Thank so, you. Sure. Now you just made clear the, symb the symbology, so I like that. <laughs> but you made it clear to me that it's reality, which was critical. <laughs> yeah, you know, your science is exact. Like, that's the original man's science. Right. You know, it's spoken in many different languages. It's lived out in many different forms. Right. But as long as you can extract the best part of it, the understanding of it, that is the reality. That's the That's reality. the solid form of it. That's the best part of it, how you can live it. Otherwise, it's just rhetoric and it means nothing. So here we go. Here's, here's a critical... Well, I got I got to set up. I got to set you up for the question. First, let's start here. Uh, are we speaking about five percenters? Are we speaking about the nation of gods and earth, or is it both? Can you explain to me if there's a difference? Wow. And that's not even the question. That's a setup for the, for the actual question. That's a setup for many more things than your question, um, and that's good because. As a child, when I watched who I called when I was young, just the brothers, you know, before I had any understanding of who's who, they were all one to me. Right. I don't care if you was Black Panther, uh, Malcolm X Grassroot Party, Five Percenters, Nation of Islam, they were always telling me to do my best. Right. They were always keeping me out of trouble, telling me I'm bigger and better and greater than what I know I am. And because, you know, um, I was pretty successful in my, uh, you know, my undertakings as a child, school, sports, art especially, you know, um, to be greater than that was incomprehensible. I thought I was already doing the best I could by the standards I was raised under, you know, Eurocentric standards I would find out later, um, slave standards, you know, and, um, and I don't mean that disrespectfully to those who raised me, they did the best that they could according to their understanding. Correct. Which led me to be here, because I questioned them eventually. So again, those brothers, you know, those are the brothers that always kept me out of what they were doing in the street, what some of my friends were doing. It. At a certain part, it started to differentiate me from my friends. And they were the five percenters when I started to really get to know them. Started to know who some of the Nation of Islam brothers, they wore the bow tie and had the part like Elijah Muhammad. That's the difference, but they don't talk like the gods do. The Malcolm X grass group, they were always Malcolm X, Malcolm X, Malcolm X, which was, you know, my, you know, introduction to the struggle for real. Like, I loved Martin Luther King, but he didn't have to fight. He'd like to, you know, let people hit him and explain why you shouldn't hit him, and I didn't really agree with that. I loved him, but I didn't, I couldn't do that myself. I just couldn't think I could do that. But uh, Malcolm X grassroots, all they was talking about was Malcolm X so much, and I'm like, you know, Y'all more worshiping them, so I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I enjoyed the cookouts and the rallies, but, sure. but the, the gods, the way they spoke, they was young, they was they had money, they had women who spoke the same thing they were speaking, and it was different from everything I heard. And they told me I was God, and I'm like, you crazy, Jesus Christ, you bugging, you know. And how you God when you don't get better grades than me? But I'd rather have conversations with them. You know, because at least they got me thinking about stuff nobody else did. So I'm like, hmm. you know, I went ahead to college or whatever, and I met five percenters there. You know, great God of love from Medina, which is Brooklyn. Um, you know, Universal. It's my man that still lived down in Durham, Durham, and his Enlightener Infinite, who was from New Jersey. And, you know, I had a lot of black facts because we was, you know, raised up with some good brothers that taught us a lot of stuff. So I could drop that with him all day long, history, whatever. But when God started speaking mathematics, I would interrupt him. 
And they be telling me stuff like, don't cut my wisdom. I'm like, what wisdom? I don't understand what you're talking about. So it's not wise, you know, to talk like that. Right. You know, if everybody don't get it. And they would say, hmm, you got a point. And I'd be like, word? I stopped one of the gods, you made him think about, now I want to learn more, because that was humble. Yeah, they allowed. We would do this all day long, but when right. I was right, they told me I'm right. Right. I wanted they to learn more. They submitted the truth. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, at the time, the Qs wanted me to be number one online because I was a dance kid. I could rap. I drew all the flyers for everybody for the parties. I was a fly New York kid, real tall, flat top. It was cool, you know, and they teach me I'm not Greek, though. First thing they're like, yeah, where is Greece? I look in Europe, that's not where I'm from. Right. Then he starts showing me some of their culture, how the people was living there. I don't live like that. I don't have to say that. Right. I don't live like that. Show me who they learn from. I said, yo. Let's just go back to the root then. I don't need to be there. Who did they learn from? Who who is it that you see? Emotep. Okay. You know, more specifically, you know, because the greatest example would be Hippocrates, the father of medicine. You right. Know, healing people, Supposedly. but he learned from Emotep, right. who was also a high priest, who was the architect of the Great Pyramids, like, and a brain surgeon. Right. That's multitasking. Mm-hmm. Only possible through what? Not mathematics, supreme mathematics. You'd have to understand yourself to be able to do all those things and handle that and not go crazy. So can you tell me the difference between mathematics and supreme mathematics specifically? We can add and subtract, but can you apply it? Okay. Supreme mathematics is mathematics applied. Okay, so it's almost like when they say knowledge is power. Hmm. But we understand that applied knowledge. Knowledge yeah, is power. Knowledge is, is just knowledge. Right. Knowledge is just the foundation to everything you got. It sits on you know, itself. Otherwise it wouldn't even exist if you couldn't know about it, but Knowledge itself is not power. Mm. How do you wield your knowledge? Right. You know, what is your wisdom like? Mm. You know, and that's not just your words. You can be swift, but are they backed up with action? Because wisdom is ways and actions as well as your words. Right. That'll show me clear understanding of who you are and how you live, your culture. Right. And whether what you're saying or not is true, is if it's going to free me, it must be true. That's the power. Right. The truth in your knowledge. And how that knowledge, that power can refine or clean up what your world is. Mm. And that's supreme mathematics. You know, five is power or refinement. Some gods will teach us just power because you say, you know, you can't refine the truth. I say the truth refines, though. The truth is a weapon to refine. Of course you don't want to refine the truth because then that would not be the truth anymore. Then you create a lie because you messed with it. You tampered with it. It's no longer itself. Does truth evolve? Truth is and, and truth. People evolve. The world evolves based on truth. Because regardless to whom or what, if the truth changed, then it would not have been truth ever. Okay. You know? It would be a fact. Because you have to stand on, exactly, you know, it, and we can say an actual fact or a fact, because there's a difference between that. Right. Actual facts, you know, are facts that exist right now. Right. A fact is truth. Something that remains throughout time and condition. Mm. No matter what happens to it, it is still itself. And that would be a sublime truth. That would be a fact. An actual fact deals with what is reality right now. Right. You know, the actual fact of the day was people used to ride around in horse and buggies because they had to. They did right. not have cars. Now they have cars, so you have a choice. So now you right. see them both. Right. So the actual fact of today is you have them both. And you do not need one or the other. You can use each other depending on your needs. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. So difference between NGE and 5%. The 5% taught me what it was, period. What I'm learning, or what I see personally with NGE, you know, um, like the 5% has told me to study every single thing. Today I hear a lot of people telling me all I need is 120 lessons. That's religious. Because we, I was taught not to take anything on face value. Therefore, if I'm only going to believe the lessons, I'm not seeking knowledge at all. I'm just believing. That's religious. I'm not into that. You know, I want to know my lessons so I can go and research them and prove them. First to myself, so I don't run around here talking some nonsense. And then secondly, I got something real to give to the people. What you just did, you actually answered what I was setting you up to ask. Hmm. And the specific question was, 
if I am one who is invested in what's called uh, African tradition, for instance, whether it be Yoruba, Akan, Kemetic, mm -hmm. you know, South African Zulu, is there a place for me in the nation of gods and earth? Of course. Okay. Of course. It's yours. Um, what's going to happen with mathematics? Because in my travels, you know, um, and that means time. You know, I've been here for 23 miles now, right? Miles being a year, you know, a year equal to our home circumference, 25,000 miles, right? I've been here 23 miles in this station. I've seen a lot of different schools of thought, you know. Um, many of them, all of them almost, try to be, or tell me they were better than the nation of gods and earth, or the 5% nation. I've seen them, they've had their share of material things, different influences in society and all the above, but the key words were in society. Once you're in to this society, which we teach is the devil's uncivilization, or the devil's civilization, because they're civilized, mm -hmm. you know. By those standards. Indeed, you know. Once you're in it, you're no longer within yourself. You're out of yourself if you're in something else. And mentally, if you subscribe to a thing, you become the thing you subscribe to. And, you know, there's a question, people beg the question, uh, can you serve two masters? When you know you're the Lord of all the worlds, it is incumbent upon you to master all schools of thought and not subscribe to anyone. So, yes, this is for everyone of the original people. Because then you can freely travel through all those schools of thought, take the best parts of them all, mm. you know, be an active part of each of your people's community without compromising yourself. I find it interesting in North Carolina, you know, uh, where my mother's from, uh, my grandmother's church, which I was a member of, you know, as a child, still considers me a member. Right? Okay. And on their calendar, when my birthday comes up, my name is Qasim Allah. Mm. So, there's a full, there's a full acknowledgement. That's an important point that you're bringing up. Mm -hmm. It's something that I, that we can reference there. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when we get into our traditions, whether they're our traditions or our original ways, our spiritual systems, uh, one of the things that I always say is I qualify to determine if it's real or not is, I say, what does your grandmother call you? Mm -hmm. When you go home, what do you call? Don't you know <laughs> that's how we examine our brothers too? When I'm in your mm -hmm. community, right. what do they call you? What do they call you? you how know, real is this? How, how do they greet you? Right. Because if you're the dude that always says peace, even if they're messing with you, what are they going to say? Peace. Right. Right. Oh, they, that's that peace God dude. They're they going to change their language. That. Right. They put the cigarettes away. Right. Do so they say, oh, I know you don't eat this. I, I made you a salad. You don't eat the pork. Or, you exactly. know, we, we, put, we season it with turkey. You know, what's, what's your name, baby? How do you pronounce it again? I don't want to mess it up. Mm -hmm. Now, see, that's now my mom's rest in peace. My old earth not only called me Kasim, but gave me a nickname I didn't like, which lets me know she loved who Kasim was, mm. calling me Kasumi. That's not cute. Right. Or Kazi. Right. Ma, but she, really? But she acknowledged what the foundation she had to build upon mm -hmm. because you reestablished, basically you transmutated your molecules. So Right in front of her. Yeah. You showed and proved it because I became that person and lived it out and taught her about it and let her be, and let her be okay with it. Not only her, my grandmother, um, who's a pillar in her church and in that community. I named her Big Mom, and mm -hmm. the whole city of Eden, North Carolina, refers to her as Big Mom, right? That's who she is. And that only came because I used to call her Mom and call my mother Sandy, you know, as a baby, you know? And they checked that, so, and I recall telling her, okay, well, since that's my mom and you're her mother, you're my Big Mom. Right. And that's where the name came from, right? Right. So fast forward to like 94, you know, 95. I'm in my apartment in Mount Vernon on the phone, my grandmother laying down with my earth at the time. and. It's about bedtime, I'm just building water, and she's questioning me on my locks, right? And I start building, explaining to her how I see them, and you know, how that energy, and you know, energy attractors, how the antenna, this, that, and the third, and she was like, well, you know, that's some nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. 
And I expected it from her, you know. But then I let her know about the code of the Nazarene, you know, in the Bible. And right. then I hit her with something real quick. And I was like, you know, Ezekiel 3.18, you know, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And he speaks not to warn him, nor warn that wicked man of his wicked way to save his own life. That same man shall die in his own, his own iniquity, but his blood I shall require at thine own hands. Mm. And I was like, big man, you know what I'm saying? I'm warning you right now because you should know better. That this is my way of life, and it's even spoken about in the Bible. Right. All right. So you got to watch the things that you're saying to me because I'm really living this out. Mm. And she said, "Whoa, any grandson of mine quote the Bible like that and I understand what you're talking about? It's all right with me." Mm. A few years later, she was asking me to become a minister, right? And I said, "Well, I, I am, to a certain degree. I don't know if you understand what I'm going to say, but I minister to my people who see my culture and live this out. Right. You know, a lot of people come to me, you know, that live it out, and people that don't." You know, they want understanding, they want advice, and they come to me. I, I mean, my friend's parents come to me. You know, young people come to me, and because I'm a barber, I'm situated well in the community that I have a whole lot of people that I deal with. I have students, I have all of this. Mm -hmm. like, well, I'm telling you, I was like, I'm doing what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And she was impressed, and that meant a lot to me. Right. You know, because regardless, she's gonna call me Kassim. Right. Now, my mother's sister, <laughs> younger sister, who always competed with her, she will call me by my nickname. She'll call me Icky, but she don't want to call me Kasim. Although mm -hmm. when she does, when she want to get serious, it's Kasim. Right. And then we'll go into debates of why I'm always quoting people, and then I got to show that I ain't quoting nothing. These are understandings. You just don't know what I'm quoting, so you don't know what I'm quoting from what I'm not, because I live it out. So right. you can't even tell the difference. And she's like, see, see, see. And she's very intelligent. So what she likes to do is try to make it emotional and then laugh at you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm aware of her tricks. She used to get me when I was younger because I wanted to impress her because I saw her as still my aunt. But then again, we're being taught we're the Lord of all the worlds. So you have to separate yourself from that and rise above those emotions. Right. And that's when you realize your aunt is also your child. I would see your aunt as your soulmate. She definitely is. Because she, she reached inside oh, yeah. and made you oh, she could, yeah. pull it out. She, she, she has that. That adversarial you know? aspect. But then you also have to watch that because, yeah. you know, is she acting then, you know, as the earth and the moon, meaning the mind and the body of the black woman, or is she more like Venus, who's 67 million miles away from the sun? Six is equality. Right. Seven is God. God. She thinks she's equal to God. Right. She she's burns got the real hot. Complex. She burns real hot. Mm -hmm. So the light that you shine on the planet burn up any life that you're trying to, you know, really plant there. Right. All she really wants is her money and she wants her opinion to rule. Mm -hmm. That's the type of woman that'll control her man. Mm -hmm. You know? So let's 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 speak about this for a moment <laughs> when we're dealing so with the soulmate. <laughs> well the soulmate sometimes... No, it's just something to ponder. Like. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Because not every black woman, not every woman, let me say that, not every woman is suitable for life. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch where her mind is at. Right. You know? Well, you have toxic soil. Mm -hmm. You know, like in the Northeast here, we have acidic soil. Mm -hmm. And it's it, acid even in your body creates more hostility. Well, we, only, we always teach, you know, all that above is caused by the son of man. So right. whenever something's wrong with your woman, you gotta look at yourself. Right, she's reflecting mm -hmm. your, your reality. I'm not talking about the woman in your home. Of course. I'm talking about the black woman in general. Collectively. Because and, who got to protect her but us? Right. And if a mind's messed up, somebody messed it up, and we allowed them, that person to mess it up, because they got to our woman. So let's speak about this for a second, in terms of our relationship between man and woman. Uh, I teach, and it's my understanding that ultimately, men are problem solvers, women mm -hmm. are problem reporters. Hmm. Okay? And um, a woman, just based on her chemistry, bio-spiritual chemistry, she has no inspiration of her own because the inspiration or to be inspired is a spark of thought, it's a spark of light. And she doesn't deal in light, she deals in a reflection of light. So if she is twisted, it's a reflection of a masculine energy. Is it necessarily always the masculine energy of her ethnic and gene pool? Or is it possible that she can be reflecting indirectly another ethnic group's masculine Her nature projection. is a reflector of light, period. Right. Light is only equal to knowledge. There's good knowledge and there's bad knowledge. Okay. Um, and we're going to deal with a couple of different points in your question, but there's good knowledge and there's bad knowledge. And, um, you know, good knowledge and bad knowledge comes from the root of knowledge in general. You know, it's knowledge perverted if it's bad, yet it's still knowledge. Therefore, it's the original man, period. I don't care if she got it from the white man, the yellow man, the red man, 
it's the original man because he's the father of all. He's the thought, you know what I mean, that began all life on the planet, you know, in all of its forms. You know, uh, you know, we teach uh, Yaqub, you know, who's known as Jacob in the Bible, you know, you know, was, was an original man and father of the devil. You know, he had the original thought to be other than, to do other than, to think other than, and then not only that, to make a people who would be other than and did that, you know. And uh, can be shown and proven in a lot of different documented geographical, historical, you know, texts. We can discuss sure. that at another time or whatever. But anyway, um, therefore, if she's reflecting any light on the planet, good or bad, it's the light of the original man, you know, at its root. Um, therefore, it is up to us. Um, I also will not say that she doesn't have her own mind. She is of the mind, you know what I mean? As we all are. Um, her physical role on the planet is a reflector of light, but she does deal in light because she receives the light. And she does what the light, what she chooses to because we teach her freedom, you know what I mean, in this nation. Um, if she is not taught said freedom or if she is just allowed freedom, like, you know, to go willy-nilly without guidance and direction like anybody on the planet, then that knowledge will in turn go bad. Especially if you lead with emotion before thought. You understand what I'm saying? And we know they're quote-unquote emotional creatures. I'm not trying to delve into stereotypes at all. I do bear witness that, you know, black woman has a mind. You know, I say that mind is right and exact when it's in tune with the laws of the universe, though, when it's man, woman, and child, and it's proper respect. You know, when a man is not being cultivated and controlled by his woman's emotion and by her sex, you know, where he's just bending over backwards to please her and not taking care of his business. Because sometimes, you know, business will definitely uh, get in the way of and derail pleasure, you know. And at the end of the day, if business is made on and Pleasure will be boundless, and that is something a man has to understand in his direction and guidance, you know, within his home, you know, and that's how I teach that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we disagree. No, not at all. I think that it's just in the wisdom.